Hi everyone, it's Luna and today I'm going to be interviewing my dad. He is a professional tennis player and he was number one in the world in doubles. And today we're going to ask him some questions about sports. First question is, why did you start playing tennis? The question is uh, very simple, but uh, I have to say that I started walking with uh, football. <laughs> and all my life I was playing different sports and uh, at that time tennis wasn't that popular. My father, uh, as a recommendation of his uh, good friend, uh, asked me to come and uh, do some testing for, for tennis where there were more than uh, 200 kids and they were selecting uh, only five and I was uh, really lucky uh, to be one of those five after doing all the tests and uh, that's how it all started when I was uh, seven, seven and a half years old. So basically you didn't know that you wanted to play tennis? Not at the time, but uh, later uh, I, had, I had chance uh, as everybody mm -hmm. uh, in, in Belgrade, in Serbia where I uh, lived. Uh, they used to, we used to play football, we used to play basketball, though those were two most popular sports, but in school we also played volleyball, handball, uh, different, different uh, other activities, especially when it was that uh, physical education. Okay, so the next question is, when did you start playing tennis? What age? I was, I started when I was seven, eight years old and it started uh, really easy. Uh, I was in the group of uh, five, six um, uh, other players. Uh, together we were five, six and uh, we had maybe three times a week, one hour, that, that was it. But uh, I was playing tennis uh, really whenever I had the chance, like uh, in front of my uh, building, you know, where I used to live and uh, also at the uh, at school, you know, when when we had uh, those breaks and long long breaks uh, in between lessons, and uh, and then uh, whenever I had the chance, uh, I I was I was doing some kind of sports. Uh, so where did you start playing sports or or, or tennis? I, I started in my uh, first tennis club, which was the Red Star, and. Uh, after that, I played in a different uh, clubs, uh, first in Belgrade, then uh, in old Yugoslavia, because then uh, it, was, it was a little bit bigger country. So, uh, and then when I was 13, 14, I started to, uh, to play outside of Yugoslavia. And uh, since then I've been playing all over the world. What are the positive things about doing sports? There are many positive things. You're always surrounded by, by kids. Uh, you are physically active, which is very important. Uh, social part of that is very important too. It's uh, important to uh, take care of your body, not only uh, your mind. Yes, we are listening, we, we have to take care of that, but uh, sports uh, gets it all together. and. Uh, that's why I think it's it's very important uh, for the kids to to start uh, with some kind of sports. Doesn't matter uh, which one it is, as long as they like it, as long as they enjoy it. Uh, I think that's the, the most important thing. And there are many other things that uh, they will be very beneficial uh, as they as they grow. Okay, so the next question is pretty similar, but it's uh, what are the pros and cons of tennis, specifically tennis? For tennis, uh, it was very nice and uh, that you get to travel around the world, that you get to see many different uh, places, different countries, uh, and uh, you do something that uh, you love so much. And, uh, and then something that I didn't like too much was uh, time away from home, time away from my family and, uh, and my friends, uh, changing different yeah. time zones. But then uh, tennis is sport, uh, I like to say that we always follow the sun. Yeah. So uh, it's always played in a uh, really nice and warm weather. Sometimes we have this indoor season where, where it's called. Uh, 
Sometimes too hot. Yes, yeah, sometimes it's too <laughs> hot and humid, but uh, but it's something that, that I like. Yeah. What do you think about our project? I told you a little bit before we started the recording. So. It, it's very interesting. It's uh, good to find out from uh, the kids from, from different parts of the, the world, different countries. Uh, this is something that I've been doing all my life uh, is by, by traveling you get to learn uh, from a different nation, different people, different uh, religion. Uh, so I, I tried to implement whatever I, I liked uh, in that specific uh, country or city where I was. Yeah, well, I know I traveled a lot because of your tennis tournament. So I know when I, wherever I go, I find out some new things and try new stuff. Do you think it will encourage other kids who don't really like sports to start doing sports? Or start just, yeah, being active in that kind of way? I think what's uh, what's important is to find a good reason why you should do sports. It, it can be something that you are drawn to, but it can also be some some activity that you like to do with your best friend. Uh, so then you can do it together. It can be only running. It can be yeah. uh, riding a bike. It can be uh, many many different things. Uh, some sports with the with the ball. But uh, the, the most important thing is to, to enjoy and, yeah. and to have fun. Uh, if you don't have that, uh, then, then you have to find something different uh, that you're gonna like a little bit more. Yeah, maybe they will try some new sport and then fall in love with it. Exactly. Uh, is it important to do sports even if you're not good at them? Of course, uh, when, whenever you start something, you are not uh, good in that particular thing and it's the same same thing with the sports so more you do it more uh, dedicated you are better you're gonna get so don't get discouraged it's important to uh, look at yourself uh, and compare yourself only to the previous version of yourself not to anybody else if somebody else is much better or if somebody is uh, progressing uh, quicker than you uh, you should not worry about that. Everybody has their own uh, pace and... Uh, yeah, it doesn't mean that you're not going to get good at it. Exactly. It's, uh, you want to be better than you were the previous yeah. day. And if you can increase by a little bit, by 1% only, yeah. then, uh, then you're going to become eventually really good at that. So, what would you do if you didn't, let's say, play tennis or you didn't become a tennis player? My second love was uh, basketball, so again, uh, sports, uh, why I like sports, because uh, I like the fair play of the sports, I, I like uh, the fact that uh, we come to the tennis court and uh, we compete, who is, uh, who is better, you can, you can learn uh, from all your defeats or failures uh, as much as uh, from the wins, so it's important to look at it as a journey uh, where you try to uh, to develop yourself to become the best version uh, that you can be and sports uh, help me in my life to become a better person to become a better friend hopefully become a better father and uh, that's that's why i like uh, sports a lot and this positive competition you know try to uh, compete with the others, uh, try to push your limits, but it's uh, ultimately it's uh, getting to know yourself, getting to know how far uh, you can go and, uh, and you should uh, support yourself. Uh, this is the most uh, important thing in whatever you do. Uh, you have to be your best friend, uh, encourage yourself and believe in yourself. Okay, so you, I think you just already said uh, what I wanted to ask you, but um, what do you think is like the most important thing when you start doing something new or new sports? Like, what is the most important thing you need to do to get better or improve in what you're doing? First, find find the find the way to be uh, happy while you're doing that, uh, to have fun, to enjoy it, uh, because if you love something so much, when the tough times come. Uh, then you will find a way, you will look for solutions, you will not uh, give up uh, just like that. Uh, that that's uh, what I think is uh, very important. And uh, also, you, you just uh, have to be patient. 
you know you have to believe in the, the process believe in yourself enjoy that uh, journey uh, and also enjoy what you uh, are going to become at the end of that journey mm -hmm. this is what your focus uh, should be how can I be better mm -hmm. than I was yesterday and uh, that mentality uh, can help you okay that's it so those were all of our questions and thank you for doing this interview with me and being a part of this project with us and I hope this will help some other students or other kids who are young and incur to encourage them to start doing sports it was my pleasure Mensana in Conpore Sano young healthy students bye bye